you sign up to lots of newsletters to stay up to date or maybe to monitor what your competitors are up to. All these emails, they come into your inbox together with a lot of messages that need your attention. So they clutter up your inbox and Gmail. How can you better organize this so as not to lose the overview? I'm Chanel Greco from Saparis, and in this video, I'll teach you how you can combine task-specific email addresses together with filters to better manage your inbox in Gmail. Okay, so here we have Jane Examples inbox and Maybe before we get started, what are these task specific email addresses I mentioned? Well, Jane examples normal e email address is just simply jane.example. There you go. Now, a task specific email address is something that you create with a plus sign. So this would be, for example, plus news. This is the email address that we're going to use to sign up to our newsletters. So let's do that again. So in here in the search mail, you click into this field and then on the drop down because we want to create a filter that whenever an email from a newsletter gets sent to jane.example plus news at saparis.io, we can then process this. So we're saying, Whenever an email gets sent to this address, now we'll create a filter. We'll define that we skip the inbox so we don't want these newsletters to pop up or to show up in our inbox. Instead, we want to apply a label. We'll create a new label and we'll call it newsletter. Create. Okay, so again, we'll skip the inbox when a newsletter comes in and we'll apply the label newsletter, create filter. Okay, so that's the filter that we created. Now, to test this or to demonstrate how it works, we actually have to sign up to newsletters. The first newsletter we're going to sign up is a Paris.io newsletter. If you go to the bottom, here you can fill this out. I already pre-filled this out. All we have to do is say it's the plus news. So it's jane.example plus news at saparis.io. So we subscribe to that. Okay, so that worked out. And let's subscribe to a second newsletter. And here I'd like to introduce you to Penn Collins. He's a Google Sheets developer and data analytics instructor. Plus, as you see here, is a G Suite expert. He's great at teaching you how you can crunch your numbers, how you can analyze your numbers in Google Sheets and Google Studio or Data Studio. And he also teaches Apps Script. And he has this um, kind of like a Monday morning espresso, he calls it a newsletter where he gives you a tips uh, or a tip concerning Google Sheets every Monday morning. And this is what we'll sign up to. So if you're interested in a deep dive in how to do data analysis with G Suite, then head over and sign up for Ben Collins newsletter. So we'll do that. And this is jane.example again, plus news at saparis.io. We'll subscribe to that. Mm -hmm. There you go. So now let's head over to Jane examples inbox and let's see what happened here. So we don't have any newsletter information or messages that came in here. That's exactly what we wanted. If we go over to newsletter, okay, so we see that the Saparis newsletter, that worked out and Ben Collins is probably gonna follow in a couple of minutes. There you go. Here you also have the subscription verification from Ben Collins. Okay, so what do we do again? First of all, we created a filter where we defined that any email that goes to the task specific email address of jane.example plus news at saparis.io skips the inbox and directly pops up under the label of newsletter. And then of course, 
that this can work, you have to use that task-specific email address. I repeat again, jane.example plus news at subparis.io and sign up to the newsletters so that this filter can work. Now, this was just one possibility to use task-specific email addresses for newsletters, but you could do the same thing maybe for sales or for your customer support. It depends on your organization and your needs, but I think that these task-specific email addresses can be a very handy tool to manage your Gmail inbox.